What's up everybody? It's your boy Nico Luminous back at you with another video. Today we are going to learn how to glide slide our 808s in Ableton Live. So um, we're going to make this a quick video. First things first, I like to work out of my browser here on the left. So I got a Nico Luminous 808 pack which is available down below. I'll put the link in the description. If you don't know how to add your samples, just hit add folder, pick your sample pack and then add it and it'll be right there. So let's um, let's grab an 808 so you can you can test them there. Now what you do is you highlight a MIDI track. All you got to do is hit the enter button. Boom. Oops. Boom. Enter button. See, it pops it in right there. Puts it in a sampler or a simpler, whatever that is. So now I got that on my, um, got that on my uh, MIDI keyboard. I'm going to push up the release so it goes all the way out. Now, anytime you're adding 808 or a bass in general, you want to have it on one voice. You don't want to have, like, say I have multiple voices, they can overlap. It sounds sounds not that good. I'm going to turn this down. That's probably clipping like crazy. Push that up because I like the way it looks. So anyway, let's go back to one voice. See, then they can't uh, they can't compete. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this filter off. Go to controls, hit this glide button, glide and portamento. Now you can change the the time. Hear that? And it pushes up, push the volume. That's portamento. If you just hit glide, it just slides up and down without having to do much. So portamento I like because it re-triggers. Um, let's just, hey, we got a 140. Let's hit the click. Oops, kind of a loud click. Not incredible take, but I did play it live. Now, if you want to only see the notes that got played, hit fold. And that'll just simplify it, which is real nice. Just quantize that. Now that was an accident. So it's a little slow, right? So I'm going to speed up, shorten the time rather. Let's go back. So that note was lag. I'm using my arrow key and my keyboard to slide it back on, on grid. There you go. Now that the tempo is on, I actually I'm going to push that back. Oops, make it a little longer. There we go. Not too long. Now if you want to distort it and make it sound just super sicky, put the uh, saturator on there. Saturator. There she is. Boom. Now i got got my thing over here. You can drive that. Have different um, modes, types of saturation. And if you want to go like stupid, distorted, gnarly vibes, put the Redux on there. That's weird. That's weird. On this new Ableton 11, they changed the Redux. Actually, I don't like the new one. I like the old one. But that's kind of cool. So if you want to go hardcore, you can put the Redux on there, like uh, just crazy vibes. So that's all you got to do. Just make sure you're on one voice, which is, oops, sample. Just put it to one voice. You can shorten the release so it lets go quicker. And if you want the long release, that's it. That's all you got to do to glide your hands into Glit Glider 808s in Ableton. So hope that was helpful. It's like, subscribe. You know the deal. I'm trying to get my YouTube popping and go ahead and get that 808 pack in the sample in the link in the description down below. All right, peace, you guys. I'm out.